have a crucial deposition to take, and I don't really. How could I feel make the roots of my hair look black for the dance? On the weekend of the twentieth, I have to go to Chicago, so you're going to stay at Grandma's. But Daddy, that's the night of the dance. So you'll miss one dance. Every time I turn around, you're having another dance. But this is the best one. It's the '80s dance, and I was going to go as Madonna, the black roots, chunky legs, pre-Sean Penn years. I'm sorry. This deposition is essential to my case. But why do I have to go to Grandma's? Why can't I just stay home? No, you're too young to stay home alone. I'm twice as old as Macaulay Culkin was. What if something happened to you? My life would be over. No, I can't deal with this with, with this aggravation. Daddy, nothing would happen. We have the arm patrol, the alarm system, and the Beverly Hills police. Enough! This is not open to discussion. Fine. You are going to your grandma's, like all right? Little That's child. that. Oh, I know I'm not being fair to Daddy, but I'd hate missing the 80s dance. Modern English is going to be there. I tried not to be too much of a bummer when Dion and Amber described their outfits. I'm going to do the sweatshirt off the shoulder leg warmers thing. The total flash dance for Gallia. Oh, that'll look cute. I'm going to go the Cindy Lauper route. The Crinoline Bustier, but with much better hair. Hello? Someone is totally hogging the arrogance lane. I thought supplemental attitude went out with Ethan Hawke. And what about your biscotti? I wanted a bite. Tea? What a minor sacrifice for such a major stud muffin. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't see it. No, really. He's like totally Daniel day lewis -y. Yeah, maybe in my left foot. <laughs> hey, honey, I wasn't sure if you wanted the cheesecake, so... I'm so embarrassed. I, I thought you were somebody else. <laughs> oh, well, as long as you're here. Have some cheesecake. Mm. Did I mention I have a really strong gag reflex? Don't mind my friends. What friends? <sighs> so do you go to UC? Um, no, not exactly. Mm. Not exactly. Yeah, I go there, I'm majoring in nothing much. <laughs> wow, Cher, so many pearls. You can make a necklace. Yo, let's roll out, man. Yo, come on, man, let's roll. Wow, that was short, but small. It's great meeting you. What's your name? Cher. <laughs> Come on, really. Cher? What's yours? Sunny. <laughs> oh, get out. Huh. Let me see your license. Well, I don't have it on me, but here's my library card. I don't believe it. Yo, come on, Sonny. Give me your hand. Don't lose that. I knew I'd find you. That was scary. We totally bowed to the forces of destiny. I wonder what he drives. It's all that matters is the way you choose to Just seeing Sunny on that motorcycle gave me a woozy feeling. Like a roller coaster. Sometimes destiny can be so cool. Sunny seemed too good to be true. In fact, what if he was too good to be true? What if he was a guy with a lot of licenses? Like he had a Bruce in case he met a Demi, and a Fred for when he met a Wilma, and a Captain for when he met a Tennille. Hello? Sonny? Cher? I can't believe I'm saying that name. My whole life people have said, hey, Sonny, where's Cher? Did they say that to you? No, but I think that they probably see me more in the light of Cher, the solo artist. Tell me everything about you. Don't leave anything out, OK? OK. Well, I live in Beverly Hills with my dad, who is a totally prominent attorney. My mom's kind of a hippie. She's an instructor at the Self-Actualizing Center in Santa Monica. I grew up with all that touchy-feely crap. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, you know, when people talk about their emotions all the time, it starts to not mean anything. It's like in museums, a guy to go around explaining the paintings. It's like, shut up, don't explain it, just feel it. Yeah. It's like I was looking at this one painting once in Paris, and the guide kept on describing it, and it completely conflicted. It's like it was just starting to get great, and 
Kurt Cobain died and the whole music industry went downhill after that. How can you say that? What about Alanis Morissette? I like that. The Jack Little Pill CD? No, the way you answer me back. Well, I always say my opinions. I'm such an idiot. I think everything's fine, right? Never mind that all her clothes are gone and her CDs. It wasn't until I noticed I hadn't seen the cat in a while. How many times do we have to listen to this song? It's the Eels. It's Sunny's favorite group. Our tastes are so similar, it's scary. We were both born at Cedar sinai His favorite book is Nausea by Sartre, and I just started it, and I love it too. Plus, we both hate tour guides at museums. Does he know how old you are? Well, he's only like 19, and he knows I'm in high school. Yeah, does he know what grade? Guys, I am not going to Club Bummer, so don't put my name on the list. This isn't some high school crush. Anyway, we're going on our first official date, and he said I could pick any movie I want. Ooh, I hear Whispers in the Wind is really good. Oh. Alfre Woodard and Winona Ryder play trouble outcasts who forge an unlikely bond. Ooh, that that looks really good. <laughs> Yo, do you ever want to see this guy again? Ooh, he actually has a point. That might be too okay. much estrogen for a first date. Well, I could see a boy movie. Here we go. Bruce Willis in Stone Cold. Uh. I could sit through two hours of explosions and witty understatements. Sure, do you know anything about guys? <laughs> a scary movie, okay? <laughs> Here we go. One shot. Yeah, yeah. In the previews, that one had the people all spurting blood out of their eyeballs. That's when the monster looks like his mother. Like, you saw that? Yeah. <laughs> right. We should, go see that. we should go see that. Now I'm not even hungry. I'm only trying to help you, okay? Sure, yeah, let's say you're sitting in the movie theater, right? You're feeling all awkward. You don't know how to act, don't know what to say. And all of a sudden, Freddy Krueger, Jason, or, uh, or, or that guy Leatherface come out with their chainsaws and their fingernails. Ooh. Now. Before the whole dismembering portion of the movie's over, hold me. <laughs> no guilt. Full body contact is in effect, baby. That may work. Definitely. Let's hold still. Kind of surprised you wanted to see this. Well, I heard the special effects are really good. I'm going to slip. <laughs> That was so stupid. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, come on. It's... No, I'm so embarrassed. Uh, don't be. I'm glad you're okay. You, you scared me. You saved my life. So he lived with his girlfriend at Dartmouth, but she broke his heart, so he dropped out and applied to Berkeley. Anyway, he is at home, and I am at home, and it is driving us crazy, because there is no place to just be alone. To do what? Hello, they want to knock boots. I didn't say that. I just want to be with him. Cher, the big rodeo hug is not something you go into lightly. Ow! Ow. Are you three idiots asleep? Let me reiterate, this is a volleyball. At some point before it knocks you on the head, hit it over the net. Now, can you morons remember that? <gasps> Miss Deemer, one more outburst like that and you are so fired. Amber, you can't fire the PE teacher. Why not? I've done it before. That was your personal trainer. Oh, yeah. Rotate! 
Okay. So how far have you gone? Will the second base count with jackets on? No. no. Without a grand slam, he'll probably go off to Berkeley and take up with the crybaby music girls. Way supportive, Amber. You're the wonder bra of friends. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to help. How do you keep Murray in line? Please. Murray counts himself lucky that I let him hang out with me at all. And Sunny is in college. Translation, sex fest with occasional lectures. Look, guys, I live for his kisses. And I'm fully ready to ascend to the next run. No, we're not going to go all the way. This guy is my destiny. No, no, I told you I can't talk to him now. I'm leaving Saturday. Chef, I made a decision. You can stay home when I go out of town. I can? Now you can go to that little dance party of yours. The dance that you wanted to go to? Oh, yeah. But listen, this is very important. When Murray drives you home, have him come in and walk through the house. Oh, Keep my gosh. I can't wait to tell Who's Sunny. Sunny? We can spend the weekend together. something so truly resplendent about a guy with a guitar. I bet Sonny's group is going to be enormous. Hey, who are those crispy-haired groupies in training? Looks like they took the scenic route here through Pamela Anderson's wardrobe. Uh-oh. I wonder if Sonny makes out with them, too. He is a musician, and there is that motorcycle. Oh, no. What if he does that with every girl? Guess what? What? My dad's going out of town this weekend, and I have the house to myself. Get out. Do you want to come over? I can't wait. Hit it! Ha ha. He's all mine. Okay, you want to put lots and lots of candles around the house. You want to make something really decadent for dinner. You want to rent a boy-friendly video, and you want to wear something nubby and fuzzy that just screams, cuddle me. And, and don't eat any vegetables, no, especially asparagus. For two days before, only eat fruit and yogurt. What? What? It makes your skin taste sweeter. She's planning a romantic evening. She's not going to be served on a platter. Whatever. <laughs> okay. You want As Dion and Amber box went box on with their random advice, I realized they had no clue about being in a relationship with a real man. Like I did. Testosterone. The male hormone. The day I was going to see Sunny seemed to go on forever. Even sex ed, despite the exciting title, seemed interminable. Now, as promised, we're going to discuss the various barrier methods to birth control. Ew! Ew. Girls, you have to know your bodies. <laughs> we know to wash them in Clinique and cover them with Armani. What more do we need? You know, unfortunately, these offer no protection against STDs because... <laughs> <laughs> um, Does anybody have the follicles? They're little round things? Miss Geist? Heads up. Okay, on to condoms. So far, the most effective weapon against STDs. Remember, girls, 25% of the population carry the herpes virus. One out of every four teenage girls carry chlamydia. And the fastest growth of the HIV infection is with teenagers. So use these with every partner, every time. Dee, hmm. I have a great idea. What? Let's become nuns. We do look wicked in black and white. Are we really alone? Mm hmm Are you hungry? I made oysters and sparkling apple juice. Well, maybe later. Hmm? It's a great house. Should I show you around? Sure. Where's your room? Upstairs. Let's start there. <laughs> wow. 
want you. You okay? Sure. Um, do you want to see a movie? I have the pianos while you were sleeping when Harry met Sally. Mm, not really. I can't make out and watch Billy Crystal at the same time. Oh, okay. Am I ruining your plans? No, you're just moving through them a little more briskly than I... Oh. Um, I, I have to go get something. Oh, my gosh. What was I thinking? Sonny doesn't want to watch Holly Hunter movies and make out. Amber was right. He's a college guy. He expects a lot more. I mean, I, I can't just do this. What am I going to do? I guess I have to tell him. I hope he doesn't hate me. I had this book. Pretty boring, huh? I had this book when I was a sophomore. Cher, I knew you were in high school. But uh, I thought you were like 18. You seem so... Mature. Yeah. I was going to say tall. How old are you? I just turned 16. Well, I'm almost 21. Oh. You've never been alone with a guy before, have you? No. And I'm really... I'm not really ready to go as far as you think I am. I'm sorry. That's okay. We don't have to do anything. But, Cher, I'm not one of those guys that goes out with a girl younger than he is so he can mold her into the type of girlfriend he needs. I think you should date somebody your own age. I don't want to date guys my own age. They're stupid. They make fun of everything. They fight. Well, I should tell you that I got accepted to Berkeley, and uh, I'm, I'm going to go next semester. I'd still like to call you. Yeah. I may see you when I come down. Yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe if I get older, like I'm like 19 and you're, you're 24, or I'm 18 and you're 23, then, you know, we... maybe? <laughs> How many Sonny and shares are there? <laughs> well, it's nice to have some long-term plans. Do you still feel like doing something? Sure. What do you want to do? Well, there is one thing I know of, but it's kind of a dumb high school event. If you don't mind. Nah, I'm game. Really? Great.